wipe my face because I need it clean and then moisturize it to ensure that it won't get too dry and all gross and we don't want that especially because it's cold weather at the minute so then I'm gonna use my primer and prime my face you don't need too much of this so make sure you're not lathering it on and yeah I'm just gonna spread that everywhere then I'm gonna take my foundation and this one's a little dark so I just mixed it with some lighter foundation then I'm just gonna blend it out into my face crevices and um, everywhere it needs to be then I'm gonna take my contour palette and take the lightest colour underneath my eyes in a triangle shape and outwards and then after I've done that I'm gonna put it on my chin on my um, above my lip and down my nose then I'm gonna take a sort of transition colour and I'm gonna put that just underneath the highlight on my cheek and also on the bottom of my nose, but I don't think there's a clip of me doing that. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of a lighter color just to um, put onto my forehead because I don't want that to be super orange, but I also don't want it to be really bright and I just wanna make the illusion that it's quite small. Next, I'm gonna take a quite a dark color and do a long, thin strip of that across my cheek burn and then I'm going to take the lighter colour again and line the underneath that kind of transition back into colour. Now I'm going to go with my MAC Prep and Prime Primer Spray, uh, sorry setting spray, <laughs> what am I talking about? Spray that on my um, beauty blender, well it's not really a beauty blender but my sponge and um, blend everything out. My um, concealer is quite thick so when you dab it, it doesn't really do much. It's kind of a bit of a crazy concealer, don't really understand what's going on in it but it works so I roll with it. So I'm just going to lightly kind of um, blend it out and dab it a little bit until there's no harsh lines and just make sure to be gentle around your eye. Well really around your whole face you need to be gentle but especially around your eye, you don't want any injuries. So make sure to blend, blend, blend. Like I say you don't want any harsh lines, you want it to look nice and natural, nice and flawless. And then I'm just going to blend out the old forehead. Uh, sorry that I keep bending down and going all over the place, my phone was like going off like hella crazy and um, I was also on, okay that's my dog running around, I was also on FaceTime so if you see me talking I'm not talking to myself, I am um, talking to someone, I don't know where I've gone now, okay, so <laughs> yeah, uh, keep blending, make sure it's nice and natural, um, and then you, okay I just lost my train of thought, Next, I'm going to take this angled brush and some uh, powder, shadow, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to put that right into my brows. And um, make sure you're not starting with loads and loads of product. I'd start with a little bit and then you can always add to it. Then I'm going to brush it out to make sure it's not really harsh and really dark. I'm just going to add as much or as little as I like just to get the desired effect. So like I say, don't start with loads and loads and loads and then not be able to go back. Okay, so now I was eating a Mento. So <laughs> I was really hungry and stuff happens in my life where I need to eat Mentos. I literally have gone through about four packets this weekend. Anyway, next off, I'm gonna take this kind of nude neutral kind of color and I'm gonna put that right on my lids and then take this nice brown and put that in the crease of my lids. and. I think I'm worse at my eyelids. I'm not very good at eyeshadow at all. I've got quite small eyelids, so I kind of kind of find it hard. I find it kind of hard. Okay, that was me sneezing. Uh, yeah, and then I just took a much lighter glittery colour uh, and put that in the sort of tear duct area. Then I'm taking this black eyeliner pencil to line the bottom and um, top 
Uh, <laughs> yes, that's what I want to say. Next, I'm going to take my MAC mascara and just mascara my lashes and make them all long and plumpy and beautiful because, you know, that's what we need and want right now. So, this takes forever because I... Oh, I have to go so slow or I will get it everywhere. Next, I'm going to take my Barry M Chisel Cheek Contour Kit and I'm going to just basically do exactly the same as what I did with the liquid contour. I'm going to put the highlight in all the same places and also the transition and darker shade everywhere that I did with my other contour. So just basically follow the steps that I've already told you with that one and make sure again you're not using too much product because you can't really take it away without removing all of your makeup so start really light start with barely anything and then work your way up until you've got what you want and make sure to um blah, 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 blah. yes i don't know what i was going to say that but i didn't say it anyways so then after that the next thing i do is just put a little bit on my brow bones and then grab my highlighter, put that on my cheekbones and a little bit on my forehead just to make that glistening, shiny kind of look. Then I'm taking this Matte Me Up Barry M Lip Crayon and the, it broke so that's why I'm having to use this little applicator and I'm just going to lightly applicate that onto my lippy lip lips. And yeah, I'm pretty much almost done with this look. It's kind of a more natural look than usually, but I just really wasn't into going all out. Next thing I did was just take my hair down, and it was kind of natural loose waves from the day before. The next, I'm just uh, putting some setting spray on, and yeah, this is the finished Lucamon. Hey, help.